Hello and welcome, I'm Nate 42 and in this video I'm just going to be doing a quick video about G2Box. In uh, G2Box, one thing that I did realise actually, which I, um, when starting this program up, there was an update. You have to download the update. If you're ever doing an update for G2Box, make sure you uninstall the old one first, because it does just, it seems to record, uh, it seems to just overwrite it doesn't overwrite, sorry. It doesn't overwrite the program that was currently there. It just kind of gives you a new one. Uh, and for me, that was not very useful because it left the old one there. The old hotkey uh, on the taskbar was still there as well. And uh, I pressed the wrong one. It asked me to do the update again. So yeah, that's that's not a great thing. So now we've got that out of the way. G2 Box is a, uh, a slicer program for the SLA printer, the Elegoo Mars, and other Elegoo printers as well. It might work on other print, uh, other SLA printers, I'm not 100% sure, but what I do know for sure is that it does work on the Elegoo Mars. So what I'm just going to do, I've got a 3D objects file folder here. Let's go in, we'll find something cool to uh, print. Um, so, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I've, I'm trying to find a way in, in which to best lay things out. Uh, and I think that I have found that way now. So this is a boba, a boba helmet. We have a this keycap. And uh, oh, if you guys want this to work, just remember uh, you have to make the files um, open with the slice with the uh, Windows program. Um, I forget what it's called now, but yeah, that is a chest. That is a keycap. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then there was another one as well. I forget which one this one was actually. Um, Oh, that's the chest one, but with pre-made uh, things on it. Uh, well, okay, that's cool. So since the since that already has that, uh, oh, and once these are already loaded, you don't have to load them again. They're just there, which is pretty good. Uh, what I will do in this case is I'm just going to print this out. And uh, yeah, so we'll open that. So as you can see, uh, and and um, I don't know why, but for some reason the the slicer does seem to be blanking uh, every now and then. If you look down this line here, it does seem like the the bottom of the button does line up with the outside of the keycaps. So that makes it a lot easier to print. It means we need we don't really need supports on the inner bit here. Um, there may be other parts where we do need supports, however. So what I will do. Um, and what you can do, that, well, when when you when you're thinking about doing files on here, you can just click. Um, where was it? You can just put it on the plate. Okay, so yeah, you can even just do the rotations and stuff like that, or you can click on flatten by face here, make sure that's checked, and then when you hover over, you'll see like a little a little pointer thing, and it will choose a tiny little poly thing, and then you can do that, and you can see. There is the green face. The green face is all the stuff that's touching the floor. That's pretty good. Now, with these uh, creations, I still wouldn't actually recommend you using um, the prints directly on the face, uh, especially if there's not like a little lip like this, because sometimes it is really hard to get it off the print bed. So when you are going to go ahead and do a print, a, a masterpiece, um, you want to print one of your your greatest creations and stuff. What you want to do is you want to just grab this. And you want to stick it at about like a f uh, forty-five degree angle. And now you have this at a forty-five degree angle. I mean, it's not great that it is kind of like a bit skew if, but yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Now we go on to here. This is the pins that hold the the supports. Sorry, this is the supports. So. There's a lift height, the Z lift. Now this is um, the height of the bit at the bottom. So you can see this little thing here. It will create a little platform that goes at the bottom layer, uh, and then these little stems will come up off of that, and they will touch the object like that. Um, it's very useful to to have the lift because. Uh, you can pretty much one tap that with a with a spatula or whatever, um, or a, or a scraper, whatever you want to call it, and it will just pop it off the bed, which is really good, really handy, and I would definitely recommend anyone who needs 
to print in SLA, definitely do it that way. So, I mean, this part, I'm kind of logging it out. What you just need to press is all, and then it will add the supports for you. Um, <laughs> and there you go, look, there's a ton of supports there. You probably don't need all of them. Uh, in fact, yeah, you probably wouldn't need all of them. If there's any areas where you think you need more supports, you can just click, uh, oh god, where is it? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, you can just click anywhere. Let's say you need a support here, you just click it, and then it adds a little support in for you. And you see a little bit that's overlipping somewhere, and you think, oh, that's not, that's probably not going to print very well. You can just click it, and then they'll do that. They'll put this little stem to it. And if the stems are close together, apparently they'd bridge just to you know hold the structure straight and solid. Uh, and then you can see the little um, thing underneath here as well. So this, as you can see, is also at an angle. Makes it perfect for you to get your little spatula under. So yeah, you just take the little, you unscrew the knob at the top of the printer. I don't even remember what the printer looks like. Take that thing off and hold it over a little, uh, like a plastic tub or whatever with some uh, with some iso alcohol in it or isopropyl alcohol get your little spatula out, pop it off into the box with the rest of the stuff wipe down the surface of the uh, you know the, 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 the print surface which r rises out of the out of the tank and then you're good to go again just strap it back on put the lid back on and uh, you can print the next thing um, I would recommend from time to time checking inside the tank just to make sure that no bits have like fallen off during print and that, that they haven't like got stuck to the bottom of the tank because next time you go down uh, it could cause damage either to the tank itself or to the um, or to the print and you don't want that you really don't want that uh, because it does it will just ruin your day trust me I I, I split a tank before. I split the, the, the plastic at the bottom of the tank before. And that was a horrible moment <laughs> because I had to buy a new tank. And uh, links to the new tank in the description below. It cost me like 30 quid off of Amazon. But yeah, you can just go back to this one. Go to uh, slice. And then when it's sliced, it will say, here's the print. So you can see, you can scan down, you can cut it open, you can see everything that's going to be doing with your little with your little keycap and I'm looking forward to actually printing this one this is one I'm doing for a friend, he just asked me if I can print this out for him so I was like yeah sure I'd, I need to test the printer out again just to make sure it works because it's been a couple, it's been, it's been a little while I'm not going to lie, it has been a while since I last printed with this printer uh, it says it's going to cost 16 pence to print uh, based off of my current costs and stuff so that's pretty good uh, so yeah I'll just save this Okay, I will also save this as a CBD DLP, uh, and th that one, I believe, is the one that can be read by the printer. You only need to save one of these files, but I can't remember which one it was, so I'll save both of them for now, and we'll see um, when we get to the printer which one does show up. Okay, so that is it. Now we just need to take this uh, onto a uh, USB stick, take it down to the printer, and we'll get printing. Okay, so because I haven't used this printer in a while, we've got all the parts here. Wow, you can just see my, my head's the show. Right. I've got all the parts here. Um, I have cleaned uh, the tray out. I mean, this is a brand new tray, actually. This is a brand new tray. It fits perfectly um, off of Amazon. Um, I would say, so it's good to keep a big, big wheel of kitchen roll here, just in case stuff does go bad. Um, and also, the reusable face masks. Um, I mean, they might help. I'm not sure if they do, but uh, you know, it's always good to wear them just because, just in case. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so it's a couple of days later. I have dunked the piece in a uh, cleaning bath for a while and here it is.
So that's how you print with the Elegoo Mars, this little printer here, and also how you slice with Chi2 Box to make a cool little keycap like this. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe uh, if you can. And I will see you guys in the next video.